guys! Okay, so today's video is going to be a morning routine and it's going to be a little different from most morning routine videos because I know in most morning routine videos people show like their morning routine for getting ready for school, like their hair and their makeup and stuff, but I'm homeschooled so I'm going to be doing my homeschool routine and I'm just going to kind of take you guys through the school day and just some other stuff I do in the morning, so let's get started! Okay, so the first thing I do in the morning is apparently I wake up and then I walk downstairs, so follow me. Oh, let's go. Walking downstairs, and then usually, you know, use the bathroom or whatever people do in the morning. And then my stomach kind of goes grrr, so I gotta go get something to eat, so let's go. So after that, after I walk down the stairs, I will head to the pantry and I will get myself something to eat. Depending on what kind of day it is, sometimes if it's on the weekend, my daddy will make breakfast and uh, breakfast for me and he'll make me toast and eggs and that kind of thing. But usually on a weekday, and by the way, I know it's Saturday, but I'm going to be showing you guys my weekday routine because on weekends, basically all I do is wake up and go back to the couch and lay down again. I don't even know why you would get on my bed in the first place, so that wouldn't be a very interesting video, would it? So this is my weekday morning routine. So anyway, usually during the weekday, I will come to the pantry and I will get myself some cereal, and usually it's gonna be something like Cocoa Krispies, and y'all probably already know how to make cereal, so I'm not gonna really go into that, but I'm just gonna, yeah. So I usually eat some Cocoa Krispies or some cereal like that, and then I will get started on school, so follow me. Okay, so usually I come and I do school in the dining room, and yeah, but usually my school man is in the den and I take myself to the dining room, but I moved in here so I can show you guys. So the first thing I do, and my math book's all messed up, I've tried to fix it before, but oh well, is teaching textbooks math, and it takes longer, and I like to get it out of the way, so I usually do it first instead of doing it the last thing. And then, it's on the computer, and it's half in the workbook, so like, I put in the problem on the computer, and then I, um, put, it, I put it down in my workbook. So there's the stuff for that. And then after that, I will get out my teacher's manual, and I will see what it is for the day. So let's just go to a random week, probably the next one that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so the first thing I do will be Bible. And sometimes I'll go backwards, sometimes I'll go forwards. And the best thing about homeschooling is you can do whatever subject you want at any time. So I can just pick out what I want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is my Bible. And I'm going to take out my Bible, apparently. And I'm right now I'm memorizing the book of James. I've actually read all the book of James, but I haven't memorized it yet. I'm just memorizing sections. So I'm still working on memorizing it. So I will get out my Bible and practice that. I'm also learning some hymns right now. This coming week, I'm going to be learning the Sold Rock. And so that Solid Rock, I, they made a typo. It says Sold Rock. I don't know. But <laughs> it's Solid Rock. So I'm going to be uh, singing that. And last week, we did Amazing Grace. And we do a new one every two weeks. I don't know if I said that yet or not. And then I do my English in this book. And I use Bob Jones English. I use everything my father's world except for math science and English. So yeah, so this stuff is my father's world. This is Bob Jones English and basically it just consists of exercises and just like a normal English textbook. Um, I always get a lot of questions about homeschool and you guys probably think it's like so different from normal school, but it's not. I'm sure you guys just have an English textbook too, so that's what I do. And then I will do my history. In history, I have just books I read. This one's called The Story of the World, and it's like a chapter book about history. And it kind of takes you in. It's like, oh, let, we're going to fly on a magic carpet, and we're going to go to India or so-and-so, and, -so, and then we're going to travel to so-and-so. -and, -so. and it's really, really interesting, and it's really, really fun and cool. And then this next book... I think it's still in my backpack, but I use uh, the book called Last 500 Years, and it's got all kinds of pictures in it. It's an Usborne book, and it's probably my favorite. This one's called Exploring American History. I don't use this one as often, but I do use it, so it's pretty cool. 
And then after I'm done with history, I will do my creative writing or notebook, depending on what day it is. Sometimes I do reports on what I read during history, and that's more of a creative writing thing. And then sometimes I do like a notebook page where I do a page about the presidents or the states. And this week I'm learning about the states. So let's say I was going to do a page about Arkansas. I would take out my sheet, like this one, and I like write the little state abbreviation thing, what's it called? The little postal abbreviation. And then the capital, and I just write like the states around it. I color in the bird and the flower and that kind of thing. And I put it in my folder where all my other sheets go. And then I will do my science, last but not least. And I use Life Pack Science. And it's really cool because they're almost like these little magazines. And they each have something like a different topic in them. So this right now, I'm in the Unit 7 one. And I'm learning about meters and degrees and angles and that kind of thing. And that is it for my school day. And then usually during in the middle of my school day, I'll eat some lunch. And I usually eat lunch at home and later we go out for dinner and stuff. But I'm not going to give all that away because that's a future video. So I can't do that. So that is it for my morning routine, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And bye. I love you guys. This has been Caroline Claiborne. And remember, you were born to be somebody. And don't ever forget it. See ya.